You've probably driven by it dozens of times and not even realized that you just passed the dairy bar. We have a lot of people come in and say, uh, uh, my father brought me in here when I was a little kid, or my grandfather brought me in here. And then we have uh, a lot of new customers that come in and uh, say, how long have you all been here? People who worked for Curls Neck Dairy ate lunch at the cafe until the dairy closed back in 1988. But the closure didn't mean the end of the dairy bar. Uh, Mr. Booker, Bill Booker, was a dairy foreman for like 32 years. So after the dairy shut down, he took over the running of this little restaurant. Bill Booker died three years ago, but thanks to some loyal customers and new owners, the Richmond Institution is still known for their chocolate and dreamsicle shakes. Probably the most popular flavor is still chocolate. Everybody wants chocolate. Even me. I tell you, we've got probably at least you know a dozen or so customers that come every day of the week, um, and we've actually. Uh, kind of reserved our own table for them. Uh, we have some other folks that uh, should be here probably in the next 10 or 15 minutes. They've been coming here for 20, 20 years and sit at that table there. How you doing? Hey. You want your favorite table over there? Okay, you can have them. Sure. <laughs> it's a half a tuna on rye and a, um, just a half a sandwich and soup. Yeah, we, we live in Chillicothe, Ohio. And our daughter's lived here for better than 20 years. I don't know how she found it, but uh, she's the one that, that directed us here. We're a regular school, so everybody knows your name, kind of fun, you know. Customers say it's the feel of a small town diner that's kept them coming back for the past 50 years. Employees say they wouldn't have it any other way. It's pretty much the same. Chicken salad's still the same, and you know. We don't change it if it works, you know, so. In Richmond, Allison Bozarth, News Channel 6.